Before we can stuff our panels, we have to modify the duplex outlet so that the upper and lower halves of the outlet can be operated independently. That means removing the shorting tab between the two hot sides so that we can wire them independently. Now that's just bends off. Make sure you're removing the hot side. We've already done those outlets over there. This outlet remains undone. We also are going to remove these tabs. We don't need them and they interfere with the LED that indicates that the upper and lower outlets are being used. Over here is our AC relay board that we're going to use to power them. As with the outlets, a certain amount of preparation is required before we can put the AccuVim 2 meters into the front panels. There's a whole host of components that come with it, including discs and a very thick operator's manual. First, we remove these plastic retention clips. Kind of work like a tie wrap. And they hold the meter on the panel. The clips are now removed. There's a thin protective film on the front. We're going to leave that there until we're ready to uh, ship this panel because we don't want any scratches. If we can avoid it, we're going to put this cushion that goes behind the front bezel on. Don't really need it in this application, but we're going to put it on anyway just for its cushioning. Normally this device is controlled through RS-485. This time we're going to control it with a uh, Ethernet optional adapter. There's a protective cover that needs to be pried off. Then you take the optional Ethernet interface, attach it to that connector, and then sock it down with a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a set of connectors that come with the AccuVim 2 that are attached to the meter after you've put it in and mounted it to the front panel and then you can connect the things that you're trying to measure to it. Now we're ready to populate the front panel. First thing to do is install the duplex outlets. To install the outlets, I'm first going to put a nylon 632 screw in the center hole. That's true for each one of the four outlets. Mounting them with the nylon screw I think is attractive. I'm screwing in the bottom screws. There's a ground clip that holds these screws in on the bottom. Once I get these screwed in, I'm going to go back and put a 632 nut on the other side. The top screws don't have a retention clip, so they have to be done individually. I've done this one, now I'll do this one. All the screws have now been attached and we're ready to uh, mount the panel. I'm not going to mount the LEDs at this point. I'll do that when I wire up the actual box. Okay, we're going to now finally put the meter in the box. We make sure it's the right side up. We drop it into the hole that we made for it. Now we put these retaining clips in. They fit into two slots. Now I'm not putting these down tight yet. Just getting them started is sufficient. One click. I'm moving this out of view, aren't I? Well, okay. So here we go. We got one click down. And let's true this meter up a little bit. Make sure she's sitting nice. And turn it over. Push down on these retaining clips some more. So it's a nice tight fit and we hear it good sound click. Now we take these detachable connectors, screw terminal connectors, the finished panel. Here are three completed panels. 
There's still a few touch-up things that need to be done. For example, cleaning some of the plastic out of the engraving. Possibly filling the engraved lettering with some sort of a paint or something to improve contrast. And the other is probably to shine it up with a little bit of uh, armor all.